Ladies and gentlemen, today we will embark on a journey into the fascinating world of the artist John William Waterhouse. Born in Rome in 1849, Waterhouse's life was filled with rich experiences that greatly influenced his works of art. As a child, Waterhouse's family moved to England, where he began his artistic journey at the Royal Academy of Arts. He spent countless hours studying and refining his skills, developing a deep love for the captivating beauty of nature and the human form. One of Waterhouse's early works, Head of a Girl, Study, from 1896, showcases his incredible attention to detail and ability to capture the delicate features of his subjects. This painting is just a glimpse of Waterhouse's talent and his fascination with the ethereal qualities of young women. In the early 20th century, Waterhouse's art took on a mystical and enchanting quality. Inspired by literature and mythology, he created stunning pieces such as A Tale from the Decameron in 1916 and The Enchanted Garden in 1917. These artworks transport us to distant lands filled with captivating stories and magical atmospheres. Waterhouse's love for literature also led him to explore the works of Shakespeare. In Miranda, The Tempest, and Miranda from 1916, he captures the innocence and vulnerability of Shakespeare's characters, infusing them with his signature style and dreamlike quality. Among Waterhouse's most famous works is Gather Ye Rosebuds While Ye May from 1909. This painting depicts a young woman surrounded by lush roses, reminding us of the fleeting nature of beauty and the importance of seizing the moment. Waterhouse's fascination with literature is further evident in his painting I Am Half Sick of Shadows, said the Lady of Shalott from 1915. Inspired by Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, Waterhouse creates a haunting scene that captures the melancholy and longing of the Lady of Shalott. In Mariana in the South from 1897, Waterhouse's travels to Italy influence the vibrant colors and breathtaking scenery of this masterpiece. We can almost feel the warmth of the Mediterranean sun and the melancholic emotions of Mariana. Finally, we must not forget to mention Gathering Almond Blossoms from 1916 and Resting from 1906. These paintings showcase Waterhouse's ability to capture moments of tranquility and introspection, inviting us to pause and contemplate the beauty of the world around us. John William Waterhouse's life experiences, passion for literature, and keen eye for details all culminate in his captivating and timeless works of art. Join us as we delve deeper into his artistry and uncover the hidden stories and emotions within each brushstroke.